This week has aged me terribly. <laughs> I've been sorting out my old flat and yeah, it's been emotional, y'all. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. There's a lot of good and bad memories in this place. And um, yeah, basically had a whole like 10 years worth of stuff to sort out. I say had, I'm still going. I'm on like day four, but we're getting there. I'm getting there. It's been really weird being on my own as well, because usually I've got all the kids with me and I've been desperate for some alone time, desperate, and like some time to process and feel. And then I finally get it. Uh, obviously not in the way that I was expecting. You know, I was thinking I'd have a nice holiday or something without the kids and, you know, get to doing comfort. But now the universe decided I had to face up to all of the shit that I've manifested and, and hoarded in the past 10 years and put my big girly pants on and actually sort it out. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Made me think a lot about cages, you know, because... When you're feeling like you're in a cage, when you're feeling like trapped in some part of your life, it literally feels impossible. You know, the thought of escaping or being free feels literally impossible. And I'm not playing down how hard it is because any cage that you've created for yourself um, is a big big thing to release yourself from you know whether that be your home that you don't like a job that you don't like whether you know you're addicted to alcohol or drugs or you know anything basically that's a distraction say anything that's a distraction from your life anything that distracts you you know that you feel like you have to escape from you know, it's a cage, but it is one of our own choosing because in reality, in reality, any cage can be escaped from. <sighs> but it's hard when you're in the midst of it, it feels impossible. It feels like it was never gonna happen. It feels like you're not strong enough. It feels like nothing ever changes. And really what these cages do is they provide a distraction from ourselves. They provide a distraction from what we're actually truly feeling, which normally is that we are completely out of alignment with actually our true higher self, with our purpose, with our, you know, with what we want to do with our lives. But because we feel trapped and scared, we stay. And if you think about, like, your higher self, you think about who you truly are inside, yeah? That person that's there that knows exactly who they are. That person that's there that knows exactly what they're worthy of. The person inside that has limitless possibilities. Limitless. That's scary to your human self, yeah? That's scary to your body, to your little fleshy, emotional body. That's a scary place to, to be. And so if you're out of alignment with that, if you're living your life and you're not happy, what that actually means is that you're not aligned with what you truly want inside. Or you're not feeling your true power. You're not feeling your true worth. And so you stay in the cages because it's safer. Better the devil that you know, yeah? Your cage is a safe, safe place. And sometimes we pimp out our cages. We, we, you know, we cover them in little pretty trinkets and we try and make the situation better, but we don't actually change it. And that, that shit never works because Deep down you know, deep down you know that you're not happy. And this life is very, very short. 
your human life. Fuck knows what's out there after this. But, you know, it's short. And it can literally, you know, th this whole thing about stability is such a massive illusion. Your life can change like that. Someone you absolutely feel like you can't live without could die tomorrow. And guess what? You would live. You would live. You would cope. It'd be hard, but you would. Any change that happens is hard. Any change that happens is scary. And this week has proven to me, God, God, it's hard. It's fucking scary. Of course it is. But guess what? Freedom has no price too high. You're allowed to be scared. You're like this magnificent eagle and you're trapped in this cage that's too small your wings are pushing out maybe you've got a flipping elbow through a through a hole <laughs> you're too big to be contained in this cage for much longer you're probably squawking like i need space guess what The door is already open. You don't even need a key. It's not even locked. Literally all you have to do is walk. Walk, get out of that cage, stretch out those wings, let them heal, feel what you need to feel, and then you can fly. Like you can truly fly. And no matter what your cage is, you have the power and the possibility to change. You have the power to step through that door. Stop decorating your cage, ma'am. <laughs> don't, don't pretty it up anymore. Face the actual cold truth of how you're feeling right now. What feels like a cage to you? It's not going to be easy. But it will be, oh, oh, so worth it. I'm going to get back to work. <laughs>